made it. This used to be the old post office, I'm told, and it is just gorgeous. And of course, it's finished with all these amazing Danish accessories and all these natural materials. And I'm living in a dream right now. So I am basically here for Copenhagen Fashion Week with Zalando. So Zalando are sponsoring the Sustainability Award and they're super involved. They're actually a sponsor of Copenhagen, Copenhagen Fashion Week. So they are running lots of sustainability events and they are bringing a lot of different influencers, sustainability journalists together just to experience Copenhagen Fashion Week. I mean, what's not to love? Um, I am so excited to be here. Copenhagen is a city that I absolutely love. I've been here twice before. Every time it's been for work, every time it's been really creative and just really eye-opening and inspiring. So I can't believe I'm back again. I like put it down on a list of things I wanted to do this year, but I was like, I'm not going to get to Copenhagen for work. It's just like not going to happen. And it has really, really, really weirdly. Um, so I'm really excited to be here. I have to say though, I've just been so nervous all week and I don't know why really. Like obviously before I would have traveled a lot for work by myself and it was no big deal. But I definitely think I'm struggling a little bit with imposter syndrome and I can't believe I got the invitation. I can't believe they've, you know, flown me out here and they're putting me up and I've been invited to all these shows and it is a little bit intimidating. It's it's amazing and I'm so excited and I'm going to enjoy every minute, but I've definitely been like deep breathing, especially yesterday. I was like really freaked out. <laughs> so imposter syndrome is real and even though I've been working in the industry for more than 10 years and obviously I'm really invested in sustainable content and trying to educate people and I'm doing my master's in it, it's still scary. <laughs> and I would like came into the lobby and like everyone is like impeccably dressed and like achingly cool. From what I've learned from being in Copenhagen, it's just that the women and men dress so beautifully here and it's like my ideal style. It's very paired back basics and very, very minimalist, but like oversized jackets and oversized t-shirts and everything. So I'm, I need to bring my A-game. Um, But anyway, I'm here, I'm landed. As I said, it's absolutely gorgeous. I need to literally plug in. I, I actually went and bought a, like a charging pack. I don't know how I've lived without one until now. So I've bought it, I need to charge everything and then basically get set. We've got a dinner at, I think like 6.30. And they're going, there's going to be a photographer to take some like street style shots beforehand. So I need to like eat, shower, do my makeup, like make myself like new. Um, the last time I was here, there was a street style photographer and I, I just really, really struggled. I was so nervous. I didn't know what to do. Um, so I'm hoping this time I'll be a little bit more confident and I'll just like have fun with it. I think I just need to like let go of trying to control everything and just enjoy the experience um so i'm going to bring you with me and i've never done like a vlog style video before but when i was thinking about this trip i really wish that i had done something like this for my last two trips because they were so special and it's such a special city and i wish i could look back on them so i'm doing it this time so that i can look back and be like that was amazing and um, so i'm gonna go get set and i will check in later denim shirt dress I absolutely love it it's got these insane pearl details on the oversized shoulders which is just so much fun and then I pair them with this old pair of sneakers I was like heels to sneakers but I think I think it's more of a sneaker vibe um these are really old I got them actually from Zalando a couple of years ago and they're just like that really chunky dad style which I love and then I have this really cute guest bag, just a tiny little handbag just for like over the shoulder. So yeah, I'm going to take some street style photographs now, which I am so scared about, but I actually, oh, if I can get this off, <laughs> I actually love this outfit so much. It's very me 
and I feel really good in it. So I'm just gonna relax and have fun. I'm um, just on for very, very minimal makeup and I have my little green claw clip in. I was gonna do hair down, but I think it's just really warm and I look a lot cleaner. And then my usual minimal 10 minute makeup and my little gold tubes. So there you go, wish me luck. The style stakes are off the charts. Like I don't wanna be a creep, but there's so many people who are dressed amazingly. Absolutely gorgeous morning. I am a little bit tired. We had a lovely late night last night having dinner and meeting lots of the Zalando team and other influencers, journalists, um, some really, really interesting conversations around sustainability, no surprise, but it was really, really fun. Um, I'm here with Linda Conway, who works with Zalando, and Tara, who is, as most of you Irish people know, an amazing DJ and radio presenter and advocate for sustainable fashion. So we had a lot of fun last night. But I'm up and at them. Um, when we were at dinner, I heard a couple of people talking about this panel discussion this morning on circularity. And I really cheekily asked if I could come along. It just sounded so fascinating. And they said yes. So I'm up and ready. Just need to put on my outfit for today and then meet the gang in the foyer. We're gonna to walk to the Zalando venue and there's like a networking breakfast and then there'll be the talk, so I can't wait. After that, I'm meeting Tara and Linda and we're gonna head over to the MWorks show. So Ranra, MWorks and Rayburn are the three sustainability finalists that are um, in the sustainability award with Zalando. I missed the Rayburn show yesterday that I'm like very disappointed about. I love, I've loved Rayburn for a long time, but I'm excited for MWorks and for Ranra tomorrow. So I just need to finish getting ready, got about 20 minutes, get some water into me, and then coffee, coffee, coffee. So this is the fit for today. I've got this really cute Patrizio Pepe bag. Actually fits a lot, surprisingly. I just love the gold detailing, very, very cool. Um, and then I've got this Arquette wool blazer, oversized black blazer. This is just like a staple that I didn't have that I was just like, I'm gonna get so, so much wear out of this. A little Moss Copenhagen tea, just to represent a Danish brand and label. I've got my old Pangaea shorts that I've just absolutely lived in and will live in for the rest of the year, I think. And these Zalando trainers again, because I think there's going to be a lot of running around. So time to get going, going to meet everyone in the lobby and get to the panel discussion. <music>
just finished the MRX show and we had a little coffee and took some pics. Um, I got back the street style shots from last night and they actually look, they look okay. I can't believe I'm actually okay with them. So um, just trying to have a bit of fun with it. I'm free for the afternoon. So I have like a very long list of things I wanna do, but I'm gonna start off with a little bit of interiors. I just, I'm absolutely obsessed with the interiors here. And I did a bit of research and Aaron Jakobsen, which is a really famous Denmark designer, there's basically a suite in the Radisson Blue that is completely designed by Aaron and hasn't been touched, I think since like the 70s. So apparently if you go there and ask them nicely, they let you up to have a look at the suite. So it's only a seven minute walk. I'm gonna go see if they let me in, see if I can get some content um, and then see where the afternoon takes me. Maybe head up a wine bar, maybe go to the Tivoli Gardens. It's such a gorgeous day. Just need to make use of having this little bit of time. So let's go. stayed in the first time I was here it was a stunning Airbnb literally right there I wonder if it's still available it was so gorgeous just heading into this park good afternoon I made it back to the hotel after the day obviously my plans did not happen I couldn't get to see the Arne Jacobsen suite and Apollo bar was closed but I decided to go see The Little Mermaid and on the way I came across Oscar Bar, which was so nice, really nice vegan lunch. And then I finally saw The Little Mermaid. I've been here, this is my third time being here and I hadn't seen her. So just even walking up there through the parks, through the city was so, so nice. And then I hopped in the cab, got back here and actually had a nap. It is so hot here. It's really, really intense. I can totally understand why people do siestas now. So I've had my nap and now I'm heading back to the Zalando HQ called H9. There's gonna be a sneaker cleaning workshop and an embroidery workshop. So these are part of the repair and rewear programs that they've got on here, which I'm a super big fan of. I think if we can repair our clothes and extend our life cycle, it's super important. So I'm gonna to go to that. And then I've got another dinner with Tara and Linda. So. A really nice like chilled end of the day i feel like i've packed in so so much obviously i could spend another three weeks here but i'm just trying to make the most of the time that i have the panel discussion this morning was so so fascinating so it included andrea who works at ghani an amazing um danish brand who i love and then laura coppin and she's head of circularity at Zalando. so basically they were talking about how to extend the life cycle of clothing what Zalando's doing, what Ghani's doing. Um, they also had someone from um, a recycling centre there. So she's in charge of like getting all these fabrics and like recycling them, so separating the fabrics. It's a really, really complex thing to, to do. So really from the chat this morning, what I gather is, you know, buy as natural materials as you can, avoid mixed fabrics um, or fibres. So sometimes if you pick up a really cheap t-shirt, you'll see that it's like a blend and that's very, very hard to like break apart and recycle. Um, but it was something that Andrea from Gandhi said that like really stuck with me and he was talking about how we just really need regulation. Like fashion is pretty much a free for all right now. You know, companies can use all of the natural resources they want. There's not a lot of restriction and regulation around pollution. And he really believes that if things are heavily regulated in the way that gambling or smoking or anything else is it's actually going to have a really dramatic impact and um, so that was really really interesting to hear and I think it's something that resonated with a lot of people because 
it has been a really unregulated industry and there's very few other industries that can operate so freely and without any consequences and unfortunately things are so bad now and there is so much waste happening that the rules are going to have to change um i think laura mentioned that there is a truckload of um clothing emptied into a landfill every second we don't have room for that so things have to change so that was really really great um so yeah it should be a really fun evening and then i think tomorrow all i'm doing is getting up to go to the final show which is the ranmer show and then going to the sustainability awards the mworks show was so much fun i loved it it was really based in nature like there was bird song when we came in there was flowers everywhere um but that was mixed with like i guess kind of a harsher environment so all the flowers were in plastic containers and we were in this very like industrial setting and then we had these quite like soft clothes so it's gonna be really interesting to see what ram was like um, and then see who the winner is so yeah that's been the show so far it's been really interesting really eye-opening i have to say like compared to other fashion weeks that i've been to i've been really lucky to have gone to london a couple of times and new york once um and paris once and i have to say i feel like copenhagen is just really inclusive it doesn't have the pretension that i would have experienced in other fashion weeks it's very chilled i feel like everyone's welcome and um, everyone's got their own style sometimes i feel like in london at fashion week it's kind of like there's this uniform and you can play within that uniform but you kind of have to be part of the cool crowd and i just do not feel like that's here um which i think is why i'm enjoying it so much and why i've had so much fun getting dressed up and i felt no pressure and i felt like i'm not like excluded from whatever cool fashion set there is so i love 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 the vibe and i can't recommend coming enough um i'd love to come back and do like steam goya and samso samso and Gani, all these amazing Danish brands who are showing here. I think it's only going to get bigger and bigger here, honestly. Um, so yeah, that's the update. Off to meet the girls now and learn how to repair sneakers. What a lovely way to spend a Wednesday afternoon. This is what I use. Like if I need like a slick back bun or a slick back ponytail, I use this Aveda Smooth Infusion. I'm going to do like a low pony because honestly, it's just so warm and... I just need my hair out of my face so I just like put a little bit on and it just gets like all the flyaways it smells amazing it's so delicious and it doesn't like dry out your hair it doesn't feel like sticky it just gives a little bit of smoothness and um, it's like a deep conditioning treatment as well so so nice slick 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 we love a slick look sleep well last night at all I don't know why um I was up late working and I actually have a couple of hours worse you know before I get ready so it is five o'clock Irish time six o'clock Copenhagen time let's get these deadlines done and dusted <laughs> Back to where it all began three days ago. I am packed, got my bags ready to check out, have to check out this morning before we head to the final show, Ranra, cannot wait. Had such a gorgeous morning. I slept so badly last night, but I got up, I got some work done. My laptop charger caved in, now it's so old, but I literally had to like finish writing an article on my phone. Thank God I did a couple of hours work last night. Got that sent off, sorted some emails, scheduled them because obviously we're an hour ahead here. I did not want to wake anyone at five in the morning Irish time with my email responses. So I did all that and then actually headed up to the rooftop to the pool. 
I have no words. Like starting morning, I mean, obviously this is how the rich just live their lives, but like starting morning on a rooftop pool in Copenhagen was literally a pinch moment. I honestly feel like my birthday has come early. My birthday is next month, but this feels like the best birthday present. It was just glorious. Had a quick gym set, came back, showered, popped on my outfit for today. This is a dress by a designer that I'd actually never heard of. They're called Stieg Glitz. They're Scandinavian as well as far as I know. And this dress and all the dresses from this collection are made with at least 50% responsibly sourced wooden material. So viscose, cork, um, it's in a blend and it's so, so cool. It's not something that I would usually go for, but I've worn so much black on this trip that I thought a little bit of color would be nice. And I'll show you properly in a second, but it's like a full length maxi. It's got like a slit and um, it's like a wrap dress. It's so comfy and light. And I think just with today, I mean, I'm already sweating. I feel like today is going to be super hot. So at least it's a bit of breathability. I am going to wear heels this morning just because I feel like it's the last show. It, I'm in a dress, why not? And there were a few people at the shows yesterday in heels. So now that I have the sauce, I think I'm going to go for it. Just wearing my fail safe lulery earrings i literally live in these um and my heels are ancient river island strappy sandals they're like the only pair of heels i wear it's insane they're ancient they must be like seven or eight years old at this stage and then i have my lovely bag that Zalando gifted me too so yeah gonna check out have breakfast with the girls and then head to the show and then we have a quick bite of lunch We've got the sustainability awards and then Linda and I are literally running to the airport to get our flight back. Um, but it's just been such an unbelievable week and I just couldn't have asked for a better experience. It just goes to show like I was so nervous and so apprehensive and feeling like I didn't deserve to be here and um, everyone's been so lovely. Like I met so many amazing people yesterday. Lots of the girls who work in like Vogue Holland and Belgium and we just such great like industry chats and just talking about how the landscape and media has changed so much. I guess I started as an intern and then worked my way up through magazines and went freelance and um, you know, like social media was only really kicking off when I started and now it's like so important. Um, it's just been such a really nourishing trip. I always feel nourished here. There's something about the lifestyle, the people, the food. Like that was the other thing we ate at Pate Pate last night in the meatpacking district. We we're like sitting outside with like hundreds of people down these like cobblestone uh, road, and like it's just a vibe. It's so so refreshing. It's just been a dream come true. I feel so so grateful to have been part of it, and um, I feel like I've learned so much, and I honestly feel like it's sending me back like reinvigorated. I have like so many ideas that I want to do, so much content. I'm really looking forward to putting this together and looking back and remembering just how fabulous it's all been. Um, so feeling really, really lucky and just really want to be present. Like I've been trying to like shoot so much and take so much content, but this morning I want to be as present as possible and just enjoy the last little bit. Um, so thank you for joining me. If you've made it this far, well done. It's been, it's been a bit of a journey, um, but I'm going to get ready. I'll show you my final fit and then check out and enjoy the Buffy breakfast, which I haven't witnessed yet i have i've missed it the last few mornings but i hear it's off the charts so um yeah let's go do that and say goodbye to beautiful villa copenhagen very quickly because i'm running so late this is the full length dress it's got a little slit there somewhere um and i've got my little bag and yeah that is the look heels are on ready to go <laughs>
really so much unpacking to do, but I've had an amazing week and it's really nice to be back. Thank you so much for coming with me to Copenhagen Fashion Week. Thanks to Zalando for bringing me and for such a wild time. Back to my skivvies and work, but so happy. See you later.